What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Star Wars headquarters. Hope you're all doing well. And Star Wars Celebration is almost officially upon us. That's right. If you didn't know, Star Wars Celebration starts this week on April 11th through the 15th. Hit that like button if you are excited for Star Wars Celebration. All of the reveals that will be happening at Star Wars Celebration. Let's go for 3,000 likes on this video. And in this video, we're taking a look at all of the Star Wars games that will be coming to Star Wars Celebration, as well as talking about if Star Wars Battlefront 2 will be showing anything at Star Wars Celebration as well. Now, we're going to start off with the big one, the game that everyone is going to be talking about at Star Wars Celebration, and this is Respawn Entertainment's game, Jedi Fallen order and this game sounds absolutely incredible from the description of course one of the reasons why that i'm personally excited for this game is because respawn entertainment is the development studio behind this game and they created games like titanfall and of course apex legends so they are a very very talented studio and i'm super super thrilled uh, to know that they are making a Star Wars game that will be arriving later this year. Now, at Star Wars Celebration, we will get our very first look at Jedi Fallen Order on April 13th. Now, that's Saturday at 1.30 p.m. through 2.30 uh, p.m. Uh, and it says the galaxy-wide premiere of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And then it goes on to say the following. It says, join the head of Respawn Entertainment, Vince Zambella, Zampella, and game director Stig Osmussen, along with many special guests, to be the first to learn about this holiday's highly anticipated action-adventure game, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Hear how Respawn and Lucasfilm collaborated on this original Star Wars story following a young Padawan's journey in the dark times following Order 66. And of course, we'll have a few surprises in store so it sounds extremely exciting and uh, yes electro electronic arts already confirmed that we will be getting a live stream as well so they will be live streaming this debut as well so super excited for it cannot wait to see jedi fallen order for the very first time i mean up until now we have never even seen a gameplay screenshot or image of jedi fallen order so they have kept this under wraps completely so nobody knows what the game looks like the only thing we know about this game is that it takes place after order 66 uh we know that it's going to be an action adventure game that's third person and uh that you play as a padawan as well so you'll be playing as a jedi in this game as well so super excited for it cannot wait to find out more i uh, cannot wait to finally see it for the first time and uh yeah leave your predictions uh, in the comments, what do you think Jedi Fallen Order is going to look like? You know, what planets do you think you will be able to explore? Uh, we reported earlier uh, that Coruscant has been heavily rumored because there was actually a promo image that showed Jedi Fallen Order and Coruscant was in the background of this promo image. Uh, so it's looking like Coruscant could be uh, one of the primary locations in Jedi Fallen Order if that ad has anything to say about that. Now, keep in mind, of course, Dice Orye has not confirmed Coruscant as a location just yet, but again, it was shown in the ad for Jedi Fallen Order, so we'll see if that comes to pass. Now, moving on, we're going to talk about the VR virtual reality experience Vader Immortal, which is coming to the Oculus Quest. And if you don't know what the Oculus Quest is, it's actually its own video game console, believe it or not, because it requires no PC, it requires no console, and it will be arriving uh, this spring. So that's pretty big news for the VR world, and I'm super excited for uh, the Oculus Quest and Vader Immortal. Now, we don't know too much about Vader Immortal, uh, besides the fact that, of course, Darth Vader will be prominently featured in this VR experience. We do know that there will be a lightsaber uh, featured in this experience as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see this featured at Star Wars Celebration. Now that takes place on Friday, April 12th at 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And uh, it says the following about it. It says, join ILMX Lab and Oculus for a sneak peek at the first Star Wars story series designed for virtual reality, 
Vader Immortal. Learn more about this immersive descent into Darth Vader's Fury Mustafar Fortress from the people behind its story, design, and technology. So, so of course, Mustafar uh, and Darth Vader's uh, castle, I believe, will also be featured in this VR experience. So it sounds awesome. And uh, if you don't know, I am a huge fan of VR. I think uh, virtual reality has a lot of potential, especially now that we're nearing, uh, you know, the new next-gen consoles. And now that uh, the Oculus Quest is really going to set the standard, hopefully, for standalone VR experiences. Because again, with the Oculus Quest, when it arrives uh, this spring, you won't be required to have like a $1,200 computer. Uh, all you'd have to do is put on the Oculus Quest and that's it. You have your VR experience right there. So again, sounds really cool. Super excited for it. And also let me know in the comments, what other Star Wars virtual reality experiences do you want to see in the future on the Oculus Quest? Let me know in the comments. Very curious to see what, you'll have, you, what you all have to say about that. Because again, so much potential here for Star Wars VR for sure. Now, moving past Vader Immortal, we're also going to talk about Star Wars The Old Republic as well, because uh, Star Wars The Old Republic is also going to have an event at Star Wars Celebration. Now, they didn't really go into detail about this. The Star Wars show mentioned it briefly, but they didn't really go into detail about what will be shown at the Star Wars The Old Republic uh, event. Now, uh... You know, this was posted on BioWare's blog post recently. They said, in the meantime, our Star Wars The Old Republic team is hard at work on some amazing plans for the coming year with new features and surprises that I think makes it the game's most exciting year yet. So if you play, uh, you know, Star Wars uh, The Old Republic currently, there's a big update coming to the game this year. So that's huge news. For Star Wars the Old Republic fans but we don't have the specifics yet and hopefully they do reveal the specifics at Star Wars Celebration during this uh, Star Wars the Old Republic event so we'll have to see about that and I'll keep you all updated on that as well and let me know if you want me to start reporting on Star Wars the Old Republic here at the Star Wars headquarters you know uh, we don't report on it a lot uh, but if you guys want to see Star Wars The Old Republic news and us play it on our live streams, let me know in the comments because I'm definitely interested in The Old Republic. And, uh, you know, there's rumors that the Game of Thrones directors who are making the next Star Wars movie uh, are working on a Knights of the Old Republic series or, or movie series, I should say. Now, that has not been confirmed by Lucasfilm or Disney uh, but it is heavily rumored that we will be getting a Knights of the Old Republic movie series from the Game of Thrones uh, directors, and that it will be kind of like a Lord of the Rings Star Wars fill to this new movie series. I hope it's true. If it is, that would be awesome, and it could open up the possibility of EA revisiting Knights of the Old Republic in the video game space for sure, so that would be so cool to see. Now, everyone's probably wondering... Will Battlefront 2 be showing anything at Star Wars Celebration? I know I'm wondering that, and uh, Military Strong asked that question as well. He said, so, no Battlefront 2 news? You know, like, what's going on with Battlefront 2? And uh, Ben Walk responded, said, we're sitting this one out. And uh, honestly, I was kind of surprised by that, especially considering um, that they just added capital supremacy to the game. I thought for sure they would have a small presentation, or at least some kind of presentation, at Star Wars Celebration showing off the new Capital Supremacy game mode uh, because, again, I absolutely love Capital Supremacy. I think it's an awesome addition to Battlefront 2. And, uh, you know, there's a new map coming up for Capital Supremacy this month on April 24th. So I was hoping that, you know, they would tease the new map for Capital Supremacy at Star Wars Celebration and get a lot more players back into the game by really promoting it. Hopefully they uh, change their minds or show something at Star Wars Celebration uh, regarding uh, Battlefront 2's new Capital Supremacy mode. So we'll see if that comes to pass. And if they do decide to show something or surprise us with something in regards to Battlefront 2 at Star Wars Celebration, I'll let you guys know. But for now, it's looking like they're sitting this one out in regards to Battlefront 2. Uh, but 
we will keep you posted on any Battlefront 2 news because, again, there is a brand new Capital Supremacy map releasing this month on the 24th. We're getting a Hero versus Villains rework uh, next month in May where they are removing the targeting system. Then we're getting another Capital Supremacy map in May uh, for Battlefront 2 as well. And then in June, we're getting our fourth Capital Supremacy map for Battlefront 2. No one knows what's beyond June, so hopefully we find that out uh, as we near June as well. And uh, hopefully we get brand new maps like Coruscant, Mustafar, or Utapau, and stuff like that for the new Capital Supremacy mode. So I'll keep you updated on this news as soon as I find out any more information on that. But uh, until then, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications right here at the Star Wars headquarters to keep up to date on everything Jedi Fallen Order, Vader Immortal, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, and of course Battlefront 2, and then all of the movie news as well. So I'll see you next time. Star Wars Celebration is almost here, and may the Force be with you. Always.